What happens when you put four sailing YouTube channels and a podcaster on one sailboat in the Greek Isles for one week? The boat in Ocean Star 56. The channels, Bums on a Boat, See the Little Things, Josh Post, Ocean Sailors Podcast, and us, Rigging Doctor. Going where the fair winds blow, our home is where the waters flow. We'll show you what we've come to know on board while sailing wisdom. All right, so we're gonna be leaving here. We got uh, some weather stuff going on. Let's take a look. So it's really windy. We're in a really protected area. Right about this area, you can see red and then white. So that means that this is the higher pressure and that's the lower pressure. And our destination is that way. So we're gonna be sailing into the low, which means that it's gonna get windier as we go. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. All right, guys, you ready for a crazy rough sail? Yes, yes, well, this is going to be are fun. Are we actually going to sail this time? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, Let's what? go, baby. Let's yeah. This is day three of our huge Greece adventure. And today we are sailing from Delos to Naxos. Naxos is going to be a bit more of a town, a bit more civilization, some really cool scenery. But we're really excited for this crazy sail we're about to have. Okay, guys, we're going to be sailing off anchor. So we're going to got a little bit of main up. This is going to power us up to the anchor and then we're going to turn around, put out some head sail and go on a nice broad reach straight to Naxos. So you can see the, the luff of the sail is just like all bagged out yeah, and that's crap. the issue with uh, roller furling like they say when they sell it to you they're like oh roller reefing you just let out as much as you want it'll be fine the shape's great but it's not like the sail is cut for a specific size and a specific shape and if you like take off part of that and, like pinch it it did just magically make the rest better so they do things like put foam inserts in the sail cloth that way when you roll it up it's not as bad but it's still not great Alright. Okay. No, you gotta uh, close the clutch. Yeah, I will. Well done, Maddie. <laughs> I did a thing! Of course. Yeah, yeah. both handed? Yeah, do you want to do one? No, I'll do the other. Yeah, it's easier. Big boat. Everyone ready? Yeah, it's a big sail. Yeah. <laughs> Driving! Yeah. How are you liking this boat? I'm really enjoying it. I mean, it's it's heavy to steer, but it's so stable to steer also. Yeah, imagine a 36-footer now. Yeah, it reacts really different than our own boat. It does react a lot slower, 
Because you said this one reacts so much faster than your boat, but this one for us reacts a lot slower than our boat. Probably because we're so light. If you'd say our boat, you'd probably say it's a dinghy. Yeah, you go, you yeah. go like this and you go like, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's funny, sensitive. ours is like yeah. the opposite. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. No, ours is way more sensitive than this one. Swapping pictures. We're swapping pictures for Instagram. If you don't follow us on Instagram, you should check out Instagram, 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 because uh, Instagram. That's, <laughs> that's where you'll see us at real time. Cheers, like this one. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> ah. It's focusing. There it is. Very nice. Very nice. They are sturdy boats. I think we can just see Fair Island did it in the distance. Get ahead. And your course, your course. But there's another wave coming. I've never actually sailed a boat downwind with this much wind. Coming back from Bermuda, we did sail downwind, but it was like no wind. So we had the spinnaker out just flapping all over the place the whole time. That's so awesome. this is pretty crazy. I felt like I was steering so much. So now we've got Josh at the helm. Yep, it is tough for sure. Taking over. This is our helm day. Everybody's getting a chance to, to helm. It got to be a bit much, we're reaping.
here behind me you see the island of Naxos and that is where Dionysus supposedly lived but behind us here we have the gates or doorway of the temple of Apollo from 500 BC so amazing So we woke up here in Naxos and today is just kind of a chill day. We had a pretty harrowing journey yesterday to get here. So today uh, we're gonna go on to shore and just experience this amazing town. This is apparently where Dionysus lived if you are a Greek mythology buff like I am. And it's just such an important piece of history and so cool to walk amongst these old, old houses that are dating like hundreds and hundreds of years old. So we're gonna go in, have some lunch, eat some of the local food, and then just wander around. Okay, I'm Steve. I'm Judy, and we are Sailing Feral. And where are you from? UK, Kent. Southeast. Okay. It is a Hans Christian 48T. And where have you been in this Hans Christian? <laughs> <laughs> well, we started in Holland. We bought her in Holland. And mm -hmm. um, we've sailed her from there to here, basically. So, um, south coast of England, across the Bay of Biscay, around Portugal, into the Med. And this is as far 
east in the Med as we've gone so far, but we're after we leave you, we're going to carry on to Turkey. We're going to spend the winter in Turkey. We bought the boat five years ago, so it's taken us five years to get this far. Mm -hmm. um, we bought. We're going to Turkey for the winter, and then probably stay there for a year. Actually, we might do. That's People say good things plan. about Turkey. Yeah. Could go up into the Black Sea. Could go down to Israel, somewhere around there. Go all the way to right to the end of the Med, and then. Scoop back out and over to the States. Wow. Uh, we want to go up the, the uh, eastern seaboard of the, yeah. of the States because Judy's dad lives in, in New York. Yay, you can visit us. <laughs> so we'll we would love to do that. Visit you. That would be, <laughs> a, be a amazing. Big yeah. yeah. We I'd like cold to. winters, so winter in the Chesapeake is definitely on. <laughs> yes, I think that, that is a it's supposed to be beautiful. I've not been there. Yeah. It is. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's yeah. so much to see in the Chesapeake. Okay, that's yeah. great. In the winter, that's it'll be freezing, but yeah. you know. That's okay. <laughs> We're English. Boat. Yeah, you're English. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what makes your YouTube channel unique, and why should people go ahead and follow you? Ah, oh. well. Um, well, our background is in journalism, so um, if you like the more documentary style YouTube, then I guess that's that's where we are. We yep. sort of sit in between the just film everything <laughs> and a more upmarket documentary we're kind of you know documentary style i would say well, but still YouTube it's been is. it's been our our profession for 35 mm -hmm. years making documentaries for broadcast so we've gone from that to, to youtube yeah um so we're not used to filming ourselves so much i think we're getting more used to it now oh i uh, don't know that, that's that's the thing i think I'm you're much, naturals at it <laughs> much more used to filming other people and and finding out their stories so we still yeah. do quite a bit of that on the channel we're much more interested in other people mm. but of course we do have to film each other as well and you learn so much not everything that you like about each other actually <laughs> ourselves. so yeah that's a bit awkward <laughs> Oh, the glory of vulnerability <laughs> of YouTube. <laughs> you can't get away from it. And also the other thing is when you're in broadcast, you'll do you'll do a story on the news and maybe someone will ring up and that's it. Well, usually someone so, from the news desk that you work with might tell you if it was good or bad. I mean, here, instantly, you yeah. have the comments that come through. So it's a very different thing. It's good. It it's is. enlightening because yeah. you absolutely see what people like and what they don't. And you can sort of tailor, yeah. it, tailor it that way. And some of it can get quite personal as well. <laughs> you can. <laughs> well, guys, uh, you heard it here. You should go and click on Fair Isle Sailing, hit subscribe, hit that bell, and uh, tell them that Rigging Doctor sent you because I really yeah. feel these guys are going to be amazingly worth your time. They're so salty, and they've got incredible plans for the future. Yeah, things like the lighting for these. We need to have oh. good lighting for stuff. Cool. And then, uh, turn all these off so you can see. People ever see this thing, they say, oh, your knives on there, you're getting a rough scene, one to come flying off. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, that's not, it's not going to come flying. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you dropped it off a crane onto some concrete, then that might sort of drop it off. But you have to pump them. Um, but because of that, they just never go wrong. You know, the, this toilet is, you know, can just cope with anything. So it's great. And you've got it separate in and out, but so you haven't got that flapper valve where you know it's, it's doing both things, it makes the thing smell as well because it all goes across, so it's all separate. The, 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 the salt water bit to the, the pump out. Today's another end to a glorious day. We spent so much time with all our friends and we spent time with Fair Al and they did a little interview for us. And it was just really cool to see like the behind the scenes because like these guys are professional videographers. Like they worked for the BBC and they 
they know what they're doing and it's just so cool to see them doing the real thing we're going to bed and then tomorrow we're going to be heading to Paros. <laughs> probably everybody else is like oh my god joe and her we are leaving without us everybody <laughs> okay and what are you about to do jump off their spreaders a toast to making some new incredible friends have an incredible week in greece yeah <laughs> matt matt show your feet oh, show your feet yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah yeah thanks for watching this episode of sailing wisdom don't forget to like the video share it with your friends and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next rigging doctor episode and if you're interested in even more ringing doctor awesomeness consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas